Good morning, students. Welcome to your online class. I am Mr. Anubhav Lambert, and I will be teaching English literature. We will be studying the poem "Dear Mum," written by Brian Patton. So let's begin. Dear Mum, while you were out, a cup went and broke itself on purpose. A crack appeared. In that old blue vase, your great granddad got from Mr. Mink. Somehow, without me even turning on the tap, the sink mysteriously overflowed. A strange jam stained out the size of my hand. Suddenly appeared on the kitchen wall. I don't think we will ever discover exactly how the cat managed to turn on the washing machine, especially from the inside, or how sis. Pet rabbit went and mistook the waste disposal unit from a burrow. I can tell you, I was really scared when, as if by magic, a series of muddy footprints appeared on your new white carpet. So, student, in the first stanza, the narrator says that. A cup broke itself on purpose, uh, and a crack appeared in an old blue vase. He says that tap mysteriously turned on, means itself on by magic. It mysteriously in the sink and water overflowed. A strange stain of jam about the size of the boy's head appeared. On the wall, he must done that. Put the jam on his hand and tap on the wall, but he is not admitting that he had has done that. Instead, he is saying, "From where the strange stain of jam has come, just like the size of the boy's hand, which he himself has done." But he is not accepting. He then he writes to his mother that they are never going to find out how that pet cat got inside and turning it on. Do you think the cat turned on the washing machine? He must have done. But now, to escape from his mother's anger, he, the poor pet cat, that he has done on the washing machine, he is writing to his mom that she is also not going to be able to discover how his sister rabbit went inside the waste disposal unit, mistaking it to be a burrow. This means. Disposal unit he must have played on, or he must have done something due to which all the garbage have scattered here and there. But for that also, this naughty, mischievous boy is blaming his sister Rabbit to do it. He is saying that his sister Rabbit thought. Waste disposal unit to be burrow, and went inside, and that rabbit has done all these mess. Then he writes, he was scared when muddy footprint appeared on his mother white carpet out of nowhere. Definitely, he must have done all this. He must have. Gone outside and have has made the new white carpet, which is his mother has brought newly, has made it dirty. He must be walked over it with a muddy foot, and now he is blaming that there must be house is haunted, and there must be someone boots footprints are there. That someone has entered the house, 
and that person has made the white carpet dirty not he has done we all know that he is making excuse just to escape his mother anger second stanza also i know the canary looks grubby but it took ages and ages getting it out of the vacuum cleaner i was being good honest but i think the house is haunted so knowing you are going to have a fit i have gone over to grants to lie low for a bit in second stanza he continue to write and tells his mother that the canary looks dirty but it was a task to bring it out from the vacuum cleaner for that where it will gone to that means the canary looks dirty because he had tried to clean it with a vacuum cleaner he says he is being honest in saying that the house is haunted he is now giving blame to a ghost and saying that there must be a ghost in the house who must have done all this which is not true he had done all mess at home and now he is blaming on to others he knows she is going to become angry after looking at the house and so he is going to go away to his grandmother place to keep out of a sight for a while so student these were all the phrase which i have explained to you i hope all of you understand the poem thank you stay safe and keep learning